call the villa our dream because we love it. And over the next few minutes I'm going to show you some of the aspects which make the villa and its location so special. Starting first at the front of the house, the first thing you see is the large parking area, big enough for three vehicles including a boat trailer, and that's our boat trailer on the right hand side of the garage. The garage is normally occupied by our car. One of the reasons for the spacious accommodation inside is the depth of the house, and you get a better view of that from this perspective. Just coming into view now is our boat slip, uh, which will be available for your use in the summer. And you'll also see the canoe, which is available for our guests. Although the front of the house is pleasant enough, it's only when you come to the back of the house that you realise what makes this location so special. This is the view past our neighbour's boat house, up towards the spring, which helps to supply the waterway. The land on the other side of the waterway is Florida wetlands, and thereby is protected and can never be built on. Pretty much opposite our house now, you can see the natural palm trees that grow there. Along with other natural wetland trees and shrubs. We're panning round now to the other way up the waterway, which is the way out into Kings Bay. And just a couple of hundred yards from this spot and you're out into Kings Bay. That's our neighbour's yard. That's our boat in its boat slip. Of course the boat will be on its trailer in the front yard during the summer months. bottle brush tree and when it's in flower it attracts hummingbirds. We're coming round now to one of the great features of the house which is the Florida room. We and our past guests have spent most of our time out in this room watching the waterway and all the animals associated with it. And in there there's a, a large table and six chairs. We have our dinner parties in there and many of our guests are in fact at, at all times out there and eating al fresco is, is extremely pleasant in warm weather. Between the Florida room and the pool there's a screen door which is lockable so giving added safety for small children. And here is the pool. It can be heated but quite frankly Florida in summers there's no there's no necessity to heat the pool. Finally we come back to the position which we started and our neighbours boat. The waterway teams with fish life. And it's that that attracts the dolphins who come to feed, normally around about high tide. This one's been down to the spring, fed down there now on its way back to Kings Bay. Sometimes they feed off the seawall. This one's actually feeding off our seawall. See how they splash their tail and stun the fish.
use cast nets to catch the small fish, which we use as bait fish for when we're fishing out on the bay. Of course we get manatee coming down the waterway as well. There are some 400 manatee who winter in Crystal River, but they're to be found in Kings Bay at all times of the year. And the manatee like to come up the waterway, especially with the high tide. If you look closely, you may just see an otter swimming in the water. We normally have a pair of otters somewhere around, and they come quite often to hunt fish in the waterway. We have a wide variety of bird life. Egrets are our favourites. This one's a pal as long as I can get bait fish. And it's dreadful to think that these beautiful birds were once hunted almost to extinction for the sake of their feathers. In addition, the blue heron are always around, as are cormorants hunting in the water. And when we get ibis, cardinal birds, woodpeckers, you can hear the hawks hunting. And when the bottle brush is in bloom, it attracts the hummingbirds. I hope you appreciate this glorious location. This is an aerial photograph of Kings Bay, and you can see our villa position right on the south side. And there is our villa, just a couple of hundred yards from Kings Bay itself. These are some views of the south end of Kings Bay, which is the area close to our house, and we think it's the most beautiful part of Kings Bay. Kings Bay is an absolutely unique facility. Even though it's connected directly to the Gulf by the Crystal River, which is just seven miles long, the bay itself is freshwater because it's fed by a large number of springs, which is connected directly to the aquifer that flows underneath Florida. So tens of thousands of gallons an hour are being pumped into the bay. And that's what keeps it as fresh water. So the fish life in the bay is a mixture of sea fish, which come down the river, and freshwater fish, like the bass, which live here all the time. Housing around the bay has been strictly controlled. It's not allowed to be more than four stories high. This prevents the bay from being exploited and its natural beauty destroyed. The bay is home to pods of dolphin who can be seen driving the fish into shallow water and then feeding on them, and also to the aquatic birds, the pelican. Osprey. Here's a pelican feeding. And again. Of course, there are masses of fish. This is a bass I caught out on the bay. And a gar. But my favourite are the redfish. Tremendous fighting fish. Truly beautiful fish. But there are even tarpon. This was my grandson's first ever fish. Just down the road from us is the beach. It's not the biggest beach in Florida, but if your beach holiday is what you're looking for, then you really don't want to come to Crystal River or the Nature Coast. But it's a lovely beach to give the kids at least a chance to have a little bit of a beach holiday. And finally, we're only 90 minutes away from Orlando and its theme parks, Disney and Universal Studios. So having given you a taste of what we have to offer, if it's of interest to you, then please email us for a reservation 